Hello beautiful strong happy and healthy people I want to give you guys six of my top tips of how to get into reading if you're someone like me that's really not a fan of reading but really wish they could get into it so the problem is with content today we have the internet which is full of so many different things unlimited amount of content coming at you but the problem is that when I was consuming a lot of internet I realized that videos were very repetitive and I couldn't really get down to the exact information that I wanted whereas with a book someone has actually put a lot more time and effort into writing a book as opposed to a video where someone like this can just whip up a camera and talk to the audience so I really want to start consuming as many books as possible so I could start absorbing the right information and using my time wisely but the problem is I wasn't really brought up to read or encouraged to read and I was a kid at school that dreaded the moment if the teacher asked me to have to read the book in front of the class because I couldn't read and I could not spell whereas as an adult I've taught myself how to enjoy reading and this is how my tip number one is set yourself a challenge and this is the new year's resolution that I have set myself for a couple of years now and I've never been able to actually do it whereas this year is my first year of actually being able to stick to it so my goal is one book a month you hear those people talking about a book a day a book a week but that's a little bit overwhelming and if you're not really a speed reader like me or just don't have the time to really consume a whole book in a day or in a week then setting yourself a book a month challenge is a really good idea especially if at the end of that month you need to spend a whole weekend binge reading that book so you are on target my tip number two is start with a book that you can fall in love with i know there's those business books that you know that you should read or self-help books but they're hard to really get into so i recommend starting with a book that you know that you can read and it's going to be hard to put down so something as a teenager i read twilight and i could not put that bad boy down because that is an amazing book of writing whereas lately in my books i've been switching up a little bit and i read ready player one which is a new movie out right now and i really want to read the book so find a book that you know that you can fall in love with reading so it does not feel like hard work in order to achieve it tip number three is read before you go to bed and put those screens away so if you actually look at your computer screens and your phones before you go to bed you actually find it harder to sleep and actually find that your quality of sleep is a lot less so i find getting a good little bed lamp and reading right before you fall asleep is a great way to get through your book and also to get a good night's sleep Tip number four is be that person that carries a book around everywhere because you never know that moment where you're going to whip out your book and you're going to get a good 10 to 15 minutes of reading time in of the day. A lot of people when they're bored and they're waiting for the subway or they're waiting for a friend or they're just trying to fill in time, they pull out their phone and scroll through the exact same Facebook feed a hundred times in a row because suddenly nothing new has really happened. Whereas you carry your book around as much as possible, girls who are a little bit more advantage with their handbags, then you can always pull out your book when you're waiting for your friend, you're waiting for your coffee or you're just trying to fill out those little tiny gaps in between. Tip number five is buy yourself a bookcase. This is kind of like having your own little metal cabinet because when you are not much of a reader and you do finish reading a book it feels like an achievement and it feels like you have received a brand new medal or trophy. I recommend buying a bookcase that you can see every single day so put it in your lounge room, put it in your bedroom and over time get excited about filling it up for the books that you have read and consumed. And tip number six is one of my personal favorites and that is take yourself out on a cute little book reading coffee day. I love doing this on the weekends or in the middle of the week and I'll go to a cafe, order my favorite coffee and sit there with my book for about 30 minutes to an hour and get a good chunk of reading in whilst I have my own little space and quiet time. You can find a little cafe that you can just fall in love with with no distractions that the coffee is awesome and it's a good little excuse to have amazing coffee and take a little bit of time out for yourself. Thanks guys for watching. They're my little tips on how to get into reading. Now I take every possible opportunity to read because it is hard throughout the day to really sit down and focus on a book. But if you can see it as just consuming one or two pages at a time, whenever you're doing something. So I like to multitask. So I like to do a lot of my reading whilst I'm at work stretching, whilst I'm doing my triggering, whilst I'm rolling, and whilst I'm just hanging out and procrastinating. Now I've used the book as a way to procrastinate whilst I'm learning something new. So I don't feel nearly as bad procrastinating if I'm reading because I know I'm doing something beneficial for myself and for my mind. So I do a quick video that I'll link below on the books that I've read so far this year and I'll give you guys a little sneak peek in what my bookshop looks like. In the meantime, keeping strong, happy and healthy.